Oh, here we go. Go. Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode. They're here, 29-year veteran of the woods, and holy cow, would you believe, I, Bear can't even believe it himself after all this time. I mean, all these people around, uh, you know, the YouTube area and everything, uh, and they decide to, uh, hey, uh, why don't we give Bear 100 subs? 100 subs! I can't believe it. This is crazy. Craziness, I tell you. So, um... Uh, you know what, we've got to do something that uh, a Bear is very, very hard-pressed to do. It's not something that he, he likes to do very much, but uh, he actually must, actually must uh, thank all you great humans out there, uh, all you great humans out there for uh, sticking with Bear through all these, all these crazy times and everything. I mean, we, you know, you never know, you never know when, um, you know, you're kind of finding out a new channel or something like that. Hey, what's this all about? You know, well, let me see, you know, this or that or whatever. And, um, you know, a lot of people may not to, uh, might not want to figure out, you know, hey, uh, I don't know what's going on with this channel with a bear on it and he's opening comic books and stuff like that. Well, uh, you know what? It actually kind of turned out kind of, um, Kind of neat, kind of pretty cool and everything, so, uh, you know what, we kind of had a fun, a little bit of a rocky start at the very beginning with all the, oh man, oh man, I mean, to go through the history and everything, but the COPPA issues and all that sort of stuff, I mean, Bear, Bear got out on his YouTube and, and immediately tripped on the opening gate, on the opening round, so, um, uh, there you go. Uh, one of the great, uh, one of the great members we got here, P-Money, thank you very much, he says, uh, happy 100th, here's to 1,000... Coming soon, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, wait, um, uh, congrats, Bear, on reaching 100 years, 100 years old, no, he's still 29, so, um, oh, wait, it says 100 subs, well, congratulations on that, too, well, we appreciate, appreciate it, P-Money, one of the long time, one of the long time, uh, viewers here, so, well, we gotta say, uh, uh, thanks to some of the long time people that have been out there, uh, uh, supporting Bear very early on, I mean, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle kind of early on when you only had, you know, maybe, you know, five or ten viewers or something like that. And you're saying, uh, you know, I don't know if this whole thing's gonna work out. Um, but it did. It did. So we got to say, uh, uh you know, a begrudging thanks from there. But no, seriously, a, a very thank you, um, uh, to everybody out there that wanted to check out the channel and everything. Especially kind of early on starting out, um, kind of had to kind of find our footing a little bit. Gosh, it wasn't like... It hasn't been, I think maybe it's been a little over a year, maybe just a little over a year that Bear started to do, uh, do these live shows, so, uh, definitely kind of had to, had to grow into that as well, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's see, my youngest says P-Money, my youngest says Happy 100 Bear, she just turned, holy cow, the big eight yesterday, oh, well, congratulations, congratulations to, uh, to all the, uh, all, all the uh, family out there of P Money, um, you know, had to had to survive the the crazy woo flu out there. So uh, there you go, got to separate, uh, celebrate an eight year old birthday. Oh man, oh man, that's got to be that's got to be a fun time, a fun time. I, I hope she was able to uh, uh, get all the all the great presents out there that. Uh, uh, probably is well deserved. Well deserved, I, I would assume. So, uh, yeah, there, there you go. Thank you very much, P Money. Thank you very much, and thank you uh, everybody else, especially some of the uh, some of the new subscribers out there. Um, we we do appreciate you. Hope hopefully you can kind of stick around and enjoy some of the stuff. Or hey, you know what? We actually got a nice catalog of videos, uh, a uh, backlog of videos. So uh, yeah, just go to the uh, go to the uh, playlist and just play away, play away. You don't even have to watch. You can just listen, do the dishes or cook or whatever. You know. Um, I just check it out that way, so I uh, appreciate that, appreciate that. Jeff Potts! Jeff Potts in here! Well, congratulations, thank you much. Thank you very much, Jeff Potts. He says, 100 subs? Yes, I know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I, I, Beer actually didn't think that, uh, didn't think that he was going to get there. By the way, um, uh, P-Money's talking about the, uh, a thousand coming in. I wanted to, uh, send out a thank you to, uh, you know, you kind of get that little community tab up there, and, you know, if you get your kind of homepage or something like that there, you can kind of see some of the stuff, you know, hey, check out my new video, or hey, uh, you know, vote in this poll, or this or that, or whatever. Uh, they took it away. They took it away from some of the, um, uh, lower sub count, uh, um, uh, channels out there. For YouTube, I mean, they're trying to say that they're, uh, uh supporting all these, all these, uh, small-time creators. They actually took away our, our ability to, um, to reach out. So I think it is, I think it's like 300, 400, 
500 subs that you have to get before you can actually start to do uh, the the community thing again. So that was that was nuts. That was uh, uh, uh. and then they did they took away the thumbs down button. So uh, beer actually <laughs> the idea for the video here was um, it was going to be thumbs down this video and then uh, then got a hundred subs and it's like wait a minute we don't want <laughs> we don't want to do that. That's crazy. So uh, anyways, uh, Jeff Potsy says. Uh, 100 subs, that's like uh, 25 subs uh, when you uh, figure in the exchange rate. There you go. There you go. Didn't, didn't, didn't figure that into the equation, but there you go. There you go. <laughs> P-Money uh, waves to, uh, waves to uh, Jeff Potts. Our little YouTube cub has grown up. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Um, you know what? Uh, it's, it's been kind of a, kind of a long road. Definitely a long road, but I uh, appreciate everybody as, um, you know, Bear kind of tries out a little little uh, experimentation sometimes. Tries to do something, uh, you know, we, we try to do a little bit different show than everybody else. Um, I was actually watching the other night. Let's see, it was uh, uh, the great Art T. Bear and his kind of uh, crew of people. They were talking about, uh, you know, the... the um, the old, uh, you know, Marvel, DC, that sort of stuff. The old story, the old stories that they had, you know, kind of coming from there. And then kind of, uh, what was the other channel that Bear was watching? It was, uh, oh, it was Eric Letters Too Much. Eric Weathers' uh, channel out there as well. One of the things Bear notices, is, um, uh, you know, a lot of the, I guess you would say popular channels out there uh, for, for comic skate are, are all um, uh, creators. Um, or maybe somebody... Uh, like in, in the case of Sweetcast, maybe something like a, like more of a kind of a producer sort of deal. But there aren't really that many, um, uh, I don't know if you'd call this sort of a, a critical channel or something like that. But there's not that many that uh, do uh, uh, from the fan side. So that's kind of what we what we started out doing here in the channel. And what we're trying to continue to do here is uh, uh, focus on the fans out there. Focus on the people, you know, uh, we were talking last time, I think it was a sovereign you know, not coming out, and of course, brand and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I try to have a little bit of a voice for uh, some of the fans out there. You know, we, uh, we're we going to get right into it with the campaign updates in just a second. But uh, uh, yeah, you know, hey, uh, this is what's going right. This is what's going wrong. This is what we should critique and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, that's kind of what the uh, what the channel was kind of started with, uh, especially since Bear, you know, Bear could have started the channel a, a, a lot sooner, but uh, basically kind of spent about a year kind of early on in Comics Gate uh, just watching and listening. Uh, Bear wasn't a uh, a comic uh, book bear, comic uh, a reader, an avid reader or anything like that. You know, might uh, check out a Superman or something like that along the lines. Uh, more movies than comic books, but, um, you know, so had, had a lot to learn. Had to learn a lot about it and everything. So uh, uh, kind of taking that as somebody... Uh, uh, or, you know, a beer from the outside, uh, kind of coming in, you know, what is this comic skate stuff all about? Well, um, here we are, here we are, you know, a couple years later and everything, and sure enough, I mean, there's a, uh, a huge influx of people coming in, trying to learn a little bit more about comic skates, so kind of that's what we do a little bit here, is, um, I talk about some of that stuff, and, um, uh, and, uh, hopefully inform, but also entertain, that's what we're trying to do here, is entertain people. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Jeff Potts. Sniff, sniff. They grow up so quickly. Yes, indeed. A a and get large as well. Let's see. Uh, it says, uh, P-Money. Oh, speaking of older campaigns, I got an email the other day about uh, Brutus. Uh, hopefully, International Comics uh, will be sent out soon. Yes, there you go. Well, uh, hopefully... I, I, I'm trying to remember. I think the last time we were talking about that, P-Money, I'm pretty sure that they would... Last time Bear saw something about that. Didn't back Brutus or anything like that. Um, uh, hashtag Kicknasser. Um, didn't back it or anything like that. So uh, did, wasn't wasn't getting some of the updates that uh, uh, some of the backers were. But um, that's good to know. Good to know. Uh, Bear did see that they were starting to send some of that stuff out. So uh, yeah, the international stuff. Uh, you know, uh, just go back to the previous video what we were talking about and everything. So uh, uh, you know, maybe that could be the the tenth. The tenth commandment there of Comic Skate is uh, give it to your international people as well. So there you go. There you go. All right. Well, enough of this gibber jabber. You're gibbering and jabbering too, too darn much here because we actually do have, we actually do have some campaign updates. Let me bring it up. Hopefully, hopefully some of you have been able to uh, to check this out. Let me see. I've got to do the got to do the thing. 
with the thing, and then you do the thing. There we go. So, uh, actually, if you haven't checked out the video, go check out um, uh, the box open. We actually did it live, but uh, they're kind of separated out. Made its, made its own little video for the uh, for the box opening. There it goes, there it goes. Um, so, we're talking about uh, Graveyard Shift, kind of the, um, what would you call it? The, the sort of... Uh, um, sort of brother or sister to the uh, Graveyard Shift would be a, a, a series called USA Assassin. That would be uh, from uh, Mike McMahon, the good Mike out there, uh, doing his thing. So they actually, um, uh, Mark Poulton, who did uh, the writing for both Graveyard Shift and for uh, USA Assassin. So uh, they're kind of bringing stuff together here. They're bringing uh, uh, both of them together here in what's called uh, USA Assassin number three, Graveyard Shift. I think the USA Assassins are going after Graveyard Shift. So uh, if you enjoyed Graveyard Shift, uh, definitely check out the uh, the sort of what we're trying to call it, a uh, sort of sister campaign to uh, to Graveyard Shift out there. So uh, let's see what what does he say? He says. Um, a uh, main book off is off to the printer. Uh, uh, this morning I sent away USA Assassin number three, a uh, graveyard shift to the printer. By the way, one of the great, one of the great characters out there, a uh, bazooka dog. Definitely check that out. Uh, let's see. He goes on. He says, um, uh, this is all the main character. Oh, let me pull it up. Let me pull up the main cover and I'll let, uh, I'll let Beer just kind of read along with it. That's a pretty neat cover. Kind of like the cover there. All right, let's see. Um, <clears throat> this is all the main cover, all the variants in the black and white edition uh, that are being sent off to the printer. Uh, they're expected to arrive uh, to me, uh, I believe, yeah, Mark Poulton, uh, by Thanksgiving week, so probably, hopefully, next week. Uh, still time to order pre-order copies, so there you go. I'm not going to close the in-demand store until uh, the good Mike is out here uh, to sign copies with me. So there you go, there's a kind of quick look. It, uh, at that, uh, oh, there's another cover there as well. All right, well, anyways, there is actually another cover. Uh, do check out, do check out USA Assassin number three. Trying to remember if Bear did a, did a campaign review for that, for that campaign or not. Not, uh, oh, I have to scratch Bear's head here. I'm, I'm not sure if I did one or not, but, uh, do check it out. Uh, one and two, definitely great books. Uh, Mike McMahon, a little, you know, he started out, um, uh, 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 he's gotten better over time, so it's definitely going to f uh, be neat to check out uh, book number three. Uh, definitely improving each book each time there, so uh, it's always neat to have artists, you know, kind of uh, maybe kind of a little little rusty, kind of starting out, and then kind of seeing over time as they get better and better. That's kind of what we're what we're here for to kind of uh, back some of those artists out there that are that are kind of starting out, but you know, we kind of know that they might. Uh, might have a bright future ahead there, so. All right, let's see. Um, uh, Jeff Potts asks, uh, is, should, should Bear be hibernating? Well, Bear is in the in the cave here, finally got got out to the woods. It actually is starting to get a little bit cooler, but um, uh, no, actually, today was trash day, so Bear was actually out uh, foraging, foraging through the neighborhood trash cans, as it were, so. in plus, uh, you know, it, it, it is Florida, so it's not like, uh, it's not like we spend all the time in the cave or anything like that. Let's see, uh, and he says, Jeff Potts, he's an insomniac hibernating bear. That's why he goes on YouTube. There you go. There you go. That's, that's also a good a good explanation as well. <laughs> or he's not a bear, maybe a human with bad teeth and a severe homicidal imbalance. Or, excuse me, hormonal imbalance. Well, it could be. It could be one of the two. Uh, we, we, we may find that out on um, on the, on the uh, 200 sub on the 200 sub video or maybe let's 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 make that wait for a thousand subs so beer can actually get out the um get out the the, the youtube stuff that uh, he's missing here now the, the the community tab thing god i can't believe i can't believe they took that away beer was actually he's like all right here we go Rah. oh wait no i can't do it and, uh, that makes beer mad makes him mad but uh what you gonna do what are you gonna do when they come for you Bad boys, bad boys. All right, let's continue on. Continue on. Actually, one of the ones that um, uh, Bear is definitely keeping an eye on here. Um, I hadn't gotten any of this stuff from um, uh, uh, Pete Sametti, publishing Pete out there uh, from Alterna Comics, but uh, definitely keeping an eye on uh, what they have coming up here. Um, they've got the, I think it was the, what was it called? The, 
like a fall or winter campaign where they got a couple of comics coming out. Uh, one of them was uh, one of the ones that Bear just opened here recently, Downcast. A couple of other ones as well, but uh, one of the things that Bear noticed on the campaign, really cool. Um, wish wish that Bear kind of got it on, on it on the first time, but this was this is just a great idea that I hope uh, a lot of the other campaigns kind of um, kind of check out as far as um, uh, ads, ad space in there. Not to say, oh, you know, we need to have, you know, whatever, uh, Coke or Pepsi or whatever, you know, advertisements in there. No, it's actually kind of more, you know, let's uh, let's advertise your comic or maybe kind of have a, a sort of a, a fake ad, if you were, you know, kind of um, a, a bear brand salmon or something like that. That would have been cool to have or something like that on the back cover or something, you know, to help promote the channel or, you know, help promote your book or something like that. So this is a really, 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 let me do it one more time, really good idea there as far as, um, uh, putting in ad space in the back of the, or in, inside some of the uh, pages there and stuff like that. So let's go to it. It says, um, ad spots now available for a uh, blood realm. Uh, that would be Wrath of Kings, at number 10 through 12, uh, currently on Indiegogo, along with a camping exclusive of number 9. Uh, we now have ad space available uh, for these issues on our fall 2021 campaign. And they go through all the, all the different stuff, a, a full page, an inside back cover, uh, the back cover. You know, so your price kind of goes up... Um, you know, uh, wherever you want to put it uh, in there. So uh, uh, he says that uh, these spots are limited and we predict they will be all be gone in less than a week. Actually, when he was on, um, I think Bear saw that on a Sweetcast channel. Uh, it was pretty cool. Bear was kind of uh, uh, scratching his head like, okay, which artist could uh, Bear, you know, get real quickly to, to draw a bear or something like that real quickly or something like that. But uh, yeah, basically by the time Bear checked in again, they were all sold. So uh, a lot of these might have already sold or something like that, but uh, definitely kind of something to keep an eye on in the future if you've got the book out there. Or, you know, hey, you just want to make a name for yourself or hey, I, I'm actually in, you know, uh, book book number 11 or something like that of blood realm excuse me so that would be uh, that would be pretty cool and he goes on has the uh, the file uh, size requirements and all that and um, let's see these are due oh actually <laughs> uh, a, a much longer time frame here uh, ads are due by january uh, 20 2022 i think they had like it was like a week or a week and a half or something like that on the last one when you know, Bear just couldn't couldn't do it in that time. But that, that was a pretty, I was like, oh man, that that might be pretty cool. But uh, anyways, uh, something to check out there. And definitely um, Bear is keeping his eye on um, Alterna Comics, uh, the more that they're releasing out there. So that would be, that'd be something pretty cool to, uh, to check out there. All right, let me do the thing with the thing and then you do the other thing. To find the thing. Actually, I can just, I'll just do the, um, yeah, I'll just do the, uh, image here. Uh, from Dan Fraga, we're talking about, uh, Fraga Boom and, uh, Black Flag. He just says it's a small update. Hey, all, uh, here's some more, um, not sure how you pronounce this. Is it Geisha or Geisha? Uh, in mid-transformation, I hope you dig it. Um, no spoilers. Um, thinking she's some sort of, like, a, a, a transformer, you know, transforming from... I'm, I'm supposing a lady into a motorcycle there. So, uh, there you go. Some pretty cool mid-transformation of a geisha. There you go. I, I'm thinking maybe the sort of blanked out spots or, or maybe more panels that he hasn't hasn't quite drawn or hasn't quite put in yet. But, uh, there you go. Pretty cool. More to come. Have a great weekend. Fragaboom. Fragaboom, indeed. So, there you go. That's pretty cool. All right. Let me do... The thing... Ah, yes. Okay, there we go. There we go. We'll click. Click a little there, and then you do the thing with the thing. There you go. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, P-Money says, uh, Beer, pay some money, get an ad for a YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, that's what, you know, kind of Beer was thinking about. You know, maybe some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, Beer brand salmon, uh, Beer brand Bear spray? I, you know, I, I don't know, something along, something humorous, but at the same time, you know, hey, check out uh, the comic spear or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can do it pretty much for whatever. It doesn't even have to be like a real ad or anything like that. You can just kind of goof around or something like that. If, maybe you're just an artist out there and just want to have, you know, some artwork up there in a book or something like that, and maybe it could get you some work or something. Uh, you never know. You never know. 
All right, what were we doing? We, we were somewhere here. Eric Nienoltowski. I'm talking about uh, Shadow Sentry uh, Book 1 posters are now available on the Book 2 campaign. Uh, one of Bear's um, uh, uh, probably unexpected but definitely favorite books of, of this past year has been uh, Shadow Sentry. A really good, uh, kind of surprising. Uh, Bear, Bear did not expect it, but uh, yeah, really, really good stuff there. Let's see, he says, um, uh, Greeting Centurions? Centurions? Centurions, however you pronounce it. Uh, since I didn't make these large posters available on the first campaign, I wanted to make uh, them available now uh, for everyone on the second. Uh, some great covers, uh, definitely Matthew Weldon, Kevin Sharp, and Mike Miller, and myself. And now you can get them in a large format. Holy cow, a 20 by 30 premium poster. Of a uh, lust finish and a printed on heavy cardstock. Not your typical thin posters. He says uh, they will be available until the end of the month, as well as the book two posters. And then they're going to the vault. Oh, no. Uh, there are two perks for these uh, poster sets. Uh, one, you can order uh, one poster, and you have the, the option to adding a couple more. Or you can add, um, or you can order all five of the posters, and you'll uh, you'll be buying four, and you'll get one for free there. So uh, there you go. And uh, below you'll see uh, book one poster images that are available. So there you go. There is the, I think this is, yeah, this is Eric Nadeltowski's um, uh, cover there. This this is for the, is this for the first book or for the second book? Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah, this was for the first book. This is for the first book there, so there's that one. Uh, this is the Weldon one. Ah, I should have got the Weldon one. Dang it. All right. Uh, let's see. The Kevin Sharp one. There you go. Pretty neat. And, uh, and of course, the Mike Miller one. I think Bear got this one. I'm pretty sure Pretty sure Bear got that one. And this is the... Uh, these are the new ones. These are the new ones. Oh, okay. Uh, promo art for book one. So there you go. There you go. Pretty cool. And here is the... Um, let me get out of that and go to that. So there's all the there's all the books that you can check out. Or excuse me, I should say the posters uh, that you can check out based on the on the cover of the book. So there you go. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> uh, maybe you can exchange services for some acorns. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, Ad hire bear services to keep away all of your. Timmy McTimmerson. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Little and big Timmy McTimmersons. There you go. All right. So let's see. Let's uh, let's continue on here. We actually have a quite a number of uh, campaign updates here. So let me do the thing with the thing. There we go. Actually, there's two of these here, but let me just do the do the one here. There we go. Uh, Tadia. Tadia. Kind of an interesting. Um, uh, interesting book here. Another uh, Matthew Weldon book, so uh, I hope, hope people are able to check this out. Um, let's see. On, on this email, he says he's coordinating with a fulfillment company. Uh, currently, we're working with um, Icon Comics. Icon Comics. So uh, if anybody has any information on Icon Comics, I don't know if they're any good or any bad or anything like that. Uh, just let me know uh, to fulfill the campaign. Very interesting. Uh, we're in the process of coordinating the shipment of the books, starting, I'm sorry, P-Money, uh, starting with the domestic, and then moving on to the international. So there you go. And he actually had, beer with beer for just a second, actually, this just came in over the transom. His beer was getting set up here. Uh, the update here, he says, uh, e-books and audio scripts. Sorry, I don't have this right in front of you guys. Uh, for those of the, uh, for those of you, uh, that have, uh, questions regarding the timeline for the audiobooks and the digital books, there you go, uh, uh, P money if you get the digital book, uh, the e-books and the audiobooks will go out internationally at the same time as domestically, so right at the beginning of the physical shipment process. So there you go, hopefully, hopefully P money was able to get a digital copy and, uh, you know what, he might, uh, might actually get it before beer. Might actually get it before beer. That would be crazy. All right, let's see. What was the other one that we got? Just one or two more here. One or two more. i tell you what. i tell you what. Let's see. Let's see. Was this the only one? I think this is the only one. Let's see. Let's see. Why is it, why is it showing that? Don't show that. There we go. There we go. Why is it? Oh, come on. Come on, what are we doing here? Bear with bear for just a second. This isn't, uh... Why is this not showing up? Why 
is this not showing up? Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Well, how about we do? How about we just do this? We will just show some images from uh, Wraith of God. As, uh, as Bear just reads off of here because it's not working for him for some reason. Don't know why. There you go. He says, uh, from Aaron the Presty. Uh, let, let me take a drink here. Ah. Oh, yeah. Uh, P Money. Totally agree. Uh, Eric Nienoltowski. Another artist who seems to be growing. Yeah, um, Beer actually got to check out a little bit more of the, um, of the Visions book from, uh, Graveyard Shift 3, the campaign there. So they had a bunch of artists just kind of do their own version of, um, uh, the character Lilith in the, in the Graveyard Shift book. So, uh, one of them was Eric Nadeltowski. I think he had a double page. I think he had a double page spread. So, uh, uh definitely looked great. Uh, definitely an artist on the, on the up here coming up. Um, I think Beer... He did the, sometimes Bear does these sort of back-to-back -back reviews where we'll kind of put them up kind of head-to-head. -head. I believe it went up against um, uh, um, the Star Blades from uh, Kyle Richard. Actually, um, uh, Eric Nadeltowski came out ahead. The book was just, I mean, it was it was a good book. Not that, not that Star Blades was bad or anything like that. Bear actually thought it was pretty good, but uh, uh, definitely, definitely an artist to keep an eye on there is Eric Nadeltowski. Oh, thank you, Miguel. Ah, oh, Miguel, you missed the first couple minutes here, but uh, yeah, we were uh, we were thinking another one of these long, long time. Gosh, Miguel, I think you were one of the first, what five or ten <laughs> subscribers here. So, uh, thank you much. He says, uh, congratulations. Eat a postman cake to celebrate." Definitely, definitely should do that for sure. So, thank you, thank you so much, Miguel. Appreciate appreciate all your viewing over all the all the all this time. Appreciate it. Appreciate one of the one of the early 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 members here early members. There you go. All right, uh, continue on here. Uh, more colors from Gabe. Uh, this is Eric. Uh, excuse me. God, wait, wait, Bear, come on, Aaron, Aaron Lopresti, the awesome Aaron. I tell you what. All right, here we go. Uh, more colors from Gabe. He says, uh, "Hi guys and gals and bears. Uh, just a quick update for you all. Uh, I'm cur currently working on page uh, sixteen of Wraith of God." I have another uh, page of colors to share from Gabe. Uh, whoops, that is not page five. Hold on. That's pages one through four. Uh, that would be page five there. Pretty, that's a pretty cool page. Um, <clears throat> and the first five pages have already been shared in black and white and in color. You just saw that. Uh, so you shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be a spoiler for anyone. Uh, but going forward, I'll only share bits and pieces because I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone. Uh, but rest assured, the book is moving forward at a regular clip. Mm, excuse me. And so he says, uh, let me thank you all again for backing this project and making it possible. Yeah, so uh, another 100k book here. Pretty cool. Ah, uh, excuse me. I had to take a drink there. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, Aaron Lepresti just doing a great job here. I really like the colors. That's, um... That's some really, 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 really good colors. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of reallys tonight. So, um, anyway, some good stuff there. Uh, definitely, if you haven't checked it out, uh, go ahead and check out, um, uh, Awesome Aaron's campaign here. He's just doing a great job. And, uh, you know, every little bit will help, uh, uh you know, kind of get us towards the next stretch goal there. I think he was doing, I think it was a card. Uh, like a playing card, like a like a poker card or something like that. I think it was like a like a ace of spades or something like that. And he had uh, he had his wraith. I think it was called the the wraith of spades card or something like that. Anyways, a pretty cool campaign. Pretty cool, if Bear says so himself. So uh, there we are. Uh, finally, I didn't want to get this. Kind of is more or less its own its own um, campaign update. It's kind of long here. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about it. If you guys want to kind of get more into it, we can, but, um, uh, there we go. There we are. There we go. Oh, well, of course, i got to show it. That would help. Come on, Bear. So, anyways, we're talking a little bit. It, it actually is quite a long, quite a long update here. I'm not going to get into everything here. Um, just wanted to show a little bit here about uh, Cyberfrog number two, a uh, Rick Planet. Hello, Cyberfrog Rick Planet backers. Uncle E says, uh, here's a general update of what's going on and where we're at. Uh, first, uh, the comic is still underway. Uh, I'm well, let me let me show the artwork. Uh, let me just show the artwork and you know, it'll be better. 
Let me bigger. Uh, first, the comic is still underway. I'm working on it feverishly. Well, I hope he doesn't have to woo flu. Uh, but I will not sacrifice my quality standards, and I will not cut it short. Actually, Beer is like in his head reading that in, in Uncle E's voice there. And I did not cut it short. I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, at the moment, uh, we have just under 60 pages of story and arc. Uh, I'm not sure the exact final page count yet, uh, but it is bigger than you anticipated. Uh, and it's filled with lots of surprises. So there you go. We cut kind of a quick update for that. Um, noticed also that uh, Uncle E is doing a little bit more... Um, uh, art streams. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, you know, all, all the, the sort of get together stuff with everybody and kind of running down, you know, the, the topic of the day or something like that. That's all fine and good, but um, yeah, definitely would like to see a little bit more of the uh, the art streams and stuff like that. You can still be, bring people in and kind of talk and whatnot, but um, yeah, I think that would definitely help kind of getting it along. The only thing, the only, and this is kind of a. Uh, don't want to make a complaint or anything like that. Just something that Bear happened to notice here, and just just this page here that uh, uh, Uncle Lee was showing. Uh, you see the top panel there. That's really cool. Kind of showing a, a sort of cityscape there. Um, I think that is um, uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so you see the bridge there, and of course the, um, the I don't know what you would call that. Sort of the alien uh, um, spaceship. I, I suppose that's the spaceship or something like that that the that the Bizbiz came down on. So that's a really cool panel right below it. You've got, uh, I believe, one of the one of the bad guys there. I believe that is the the bridge that he is on with the with the cable kind of coming down and everything. Um, but at the very bottom of the page, if you, if you just kind of took out that that extra little panel there, um, it, it's a lot of dead space. There's a lot of dead space in there. Not not that it's not that uh, it's not completely detailed or anything. Um, that's actually Beer's kind of comment there is, you know, there's a whole lot of space there that's really detailed that didn't need to be uh, uh, kind of put in there. So um, I don't know. Maybe maybe make that a separate panel or something like that. Here, here Beer is telling Uncle E how to draw his book or something like that. But uh, I, that was just one of the things that Beer kind of happened to notice. It's like, ah, oh, man, there's a lot, of, a lot of dead space there at the very bottom of the bottom of the page but uh anyways uh, uncle e kind of coming along with it he did have a very more detailed stuff um might want to kind of get into just just talking about comics or comics gate um uh cyber frog next time maybe maybe on the next show just kind of get into that a little bit more detailed but um yeah he did have a number let me get back to it here get back to it here he did have a number of different pages here looked really cool kind of like this one not sure if I think Cyberfrog is sitting cross-legged. I think that's kind of an interesting, interesting pose that he has there. Notice the bear in the background. If you notice the bear in the background, so that was pretty cool. But uh, anyways, I didn't want to get too far into it because it is quite a long. I'll scroll down here. You can see it's quite a long. Um, long thing, so I uh, didn't want to get too far into it. Might make it its own little thing. We kind of broke out the last time we, when we were talking about Cyberfrog, some of that stuff, so uh, might want to save that for the next time, but if anybody has any questions, we can we can go through that real quickly here, so let's see. Um, ah, there we go. Uh, Miguel says, uh, well, you were some of the only people or animal uh, that were making CG unboxings. Yeah, I, there wasn't really a whole lot, or if it was, it was maybe kind of uh, one of the artists that, that got in and just kind of did kind of a real quick box open very quickly on their stream or something like that. So, um, yeah, that was, it was, you know, we're just trying something that, you know, a lot of people had never seen a bear open a box before. So, you know, we tried to do something a little bit different with, with all that sort of stuff. So there you go. There you go. A uh, Baron Von, uh, uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Tau Cat. Tau Cat. There we go. This is very cool art. Yeah, that's Uncle E right there. Uh, some really, really highly detailed stuff. He, he really knocks it out of the park. And um, I think the last time, number one, the last time we were talking about it, it was a much lower resolution uh, scan that uh, Uncle E did. And then also, I don't think that many of them were, were colored. Uh, Bear doesn't recall seeing this page either. So um, it's nice to see... Uh, um, uh, Kyle Richards coloring as well. So hopefully, hopefully as he's doing the pages, the coloring is coming along with it. Um, I think he switched over to, uh, to Eric Weathers. Eric letters too much uh, to do the lettering there. So uh, hopefully, you know, once the pages get done, in fact, oh, when he was talking about that, um, 
is basically saying, yeah, it's all, it's all on me. They're, everybody's waiting on me and everything. So that, it's kind of a nice to be able to see that, you know, as far as, um, uh, hey, taking, taking credit, but also taking a little bit of the responsibility as well. Uh, we were talking about, um, we were talking about Sovereign the last time, you know, uh, Andrew Huerta just kind of, oh yeah, hey everybody, I'm still alive, you know, he puts up an email update maybe every six, seven months or something like that, so, uh, yeah, no, just wanted to kind of highlight, you know, hey, how to do a really good update even though you're late, um, actually they were talking about that on, um, on, uh, Eric, Eric Letters Too Much, Eric Weathers' channel the other night, you know, how long, how long is too long to wait on some of the comics, you know, sort of the, uh, the general consensus was, uh, about a year, maybe go about a year, maybe three months or something like that, but, uh, yeah, unless, unless there's a, a pretty good reason why, I, I think, I think probably about a year to get the books in, in people's hands and everything, I think that's a, a reasonable stretch there, let's see, um, Let's see. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Baron Von Taco Cat. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, there you go. There you go. Uh, Bear's trying to read this off his iPad, and it's kind of small. So um, either that's or Bear's Bear needs to get glasses. One of the two. One of the two there. So I'm trying to imagine going going into an optometrist. You know. Okay, Bear. You know, better or worse. Better or worse. <laughs> All right, let's see. A P Bunny says, uh, it's been a while since I had a good cat taco. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> let's see. They taste the same backwards. Okay. All right, we're done talking about cats and tacos here. I tell you what. I tell you what, people. You know, sometimes. Sometimes the, the, the chat... The chat just gets away. It gets away from beer. I tell you what. All right. Um... Uh, <laughs> What Bear was going to do, what Bear, one of the things that Bear was going to do was talk about the new, um, the new Cy uh, uh, Spider-Man, um, uh, movie coming out. I didn't realize that they were all, all three of them had, like, the, the title home in there. I didn't realize that. Anyways, they, they brought out the new, uh, trailer. Uh, Bear was trying to find some pictures of it. Couldn't find any pictures and stuff like that. So Bear, what Bear is going to talk about is, um... Uh, you know, one of the things that Beer could do, he could go on a any uh, Overlord DVD esque rant um, on on the show that uh, Beer is watching here. It's actually called um, the Foundation, or excuse me, Foundation. It's not called the Foundation. Foundation. Uh, it's on Apple TV. It's kind of their sort of premiere show that they're coming out with. So. Um, you know, Bear could say, listen, everybody, this is the complete garbage, complete terrible show. You shouldn't watch it or anything like that. But uh, actually, there is a small smidgen of a really great, uh, awesome show in here. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of surrounded by a bunch of, um, oh, how should Bear put this? A bunch of uh, uh, not very good garbage around it. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the show, The Foundation. I know everybody would want me to talk about um, a Spider Man and stuff like that. Um, eh, eh, fine. I, it's okay. I, I'm sure people are going to. Uh, it'd probably be a really good movie, but um, uh, when you're bringing back characters from like um, uh, not only previous movies, but uh, movies that. You, that uh, you know, you've rebooted like three different times and you're going back to Spider-Man 2. I mean, Spider-Man 2 was like the best Spider-Man. Everything uh, since then kind of was downhill. So, um, yeah, I think they should just leave Spider-Man 2 as it is and let uh, let the new kid do his own thing and yada, yada, yada. Anytime you're doing like multiverse and all this other stuff, it just kind of gets crazy. So, um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, uh, Baron says, uh, the Foundation books are great. Yeah, so I don't know, Bear read, I think, the first book many, 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 many moons ago. Um, you know, Isaac Asimov, uh, one of those artists you, or writers that uh, everybody either loves or is kind of, uh, gets a little bit thick and indifference about. Um, some good stuff in, in the book, it just kind of... Uh, at the time when Bear was reading a wide range of stuff, it was one of these books where it was like, eh, let me put it off and, you know, go to another book. I think I was reading um, the original Jurassic Park at the same time. So, uh, you know, comparing the two, it's like, eh, let me go to Jurassic Park. So, uh, anyways, one of the great things, what, uh, uh, female Chris Rock, terrible. Um, uh, the other girl, the water girl, this water girl, uh, uh, just terrible. I think they gender swapped her. I don't care if they gender swapped her in the, from the books to the movies. It's just not a very good actress. Lee Pace right here. Lee Pace 
just carries the entire show on his shoulders, much like Jesus here. Um, that is the best part of the show. It's it's sort of um, how should Bear describe it? Uh, kind of like the the Roman Empire in space. Um, so he's kind of like the emperor. So you see these two guys here. I, I think it's a little bit different from the books, but it was a really cool idea. So they kind of came up with this idea of the emperor of the sort of uh, ro space Romans, as you were. Um, so you have the emperor there, and uh, but he's like a genetic clone. So uh, you have um, uh, the... the I don't know how you describe it. The, the baby bear, the, the the mama bear, and the papa bear, I guess, but there's no mama. Um, uh, the little bear, the medium-sized bear, and the large bear there, or the old bear, I guess. Um, so they're all the emperor. So uh, you, you've got the emperor that kind of starts out as a little kid in the very beginning of the show, and then as it goes through the season, um, th that character kind of becomes older, and then he's the, the Lee Pace character uh, for a while. Lee Pace just chews up this scenery. Oh, man. You know, again, Bear could go on a Doomcock-esque rant on how just awful this show is. Horrible! Makes no sense. It's it's one of these shows where it's like, you know, the, the girl that's that's the key to everything. Except for you have two girls that's the key to everything. It's so confusing. Um but yeah, some of the some of the stuff it almost reminds Bear of kind of like a like a Game of Thrones, uh, but in space. But uh, Apple never really kind of goes to the actual you know, the, the, the next step of it, you know, there's no nudity or anything like that. There's not really any cursing or anything. Um, there's some violence in there, but it's not like, not like over the top. Nobody's getting beheaded or anything like that. So it's a little, a little tame, I suppose. Um, this scene right here. Oh my God, this is so stupid. Look at the guy in the background. He's pointing the gun at the guy in front of him. There's space, like, muskets or something like that. Then you got the female Chris Rock, circa 1994 or something like that. She's also the key to everything. Really, all you gotta do, listen, if you wanna watch this show, it's actually a really good show if you skip past all this stuff. Skip past the Water Girl. Skip past uh, uh, Chris Rock, female Chris Rock. Uh, just go to the stuff with Lee Pace here. Just go to the stuff with the Emperor stuff. That's actually a really great show. That would be, like, you could just cut off like a majority of the show and just just show that it would be it would be totally fine let's see oh i'm i'm, I'm ignoring the chat here i apologize let's see um i read Je jurassic park 2 also jurassic park number two is very good uh let's see um uh, i say if sony p money says uh i say if sony wants to make money uh have tom holland do the voice of uh peter in the next Spider-Verse, uh, Miles Morales movie. There you go. Um, again, it's one of those things... Sorry, I'm, I'm backtracking with Spider-Man here. It's never a good idea to kind of wrap your movie around a, a contractual obligation that you have. Um, so basically what happened was uh, Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man, but they more or less lease them or loan, <laughs> loan the rights out to Marvel to... to Disney there, uh, so Spider-Man can be in the, the Avenger movie and all that sort of stuff, and then they get to, you know, get to make their own movie and everything. Well, they're doing this sort of metaverse, multiverse, whatever the heck they call it, um, it's just, it's just not a good, it's just, I don't know, I, I'm sure it, it would be fine, but, uh, eh, why, why you gotta bring back, uh, uh Alfred Moreno from Spider-Man 2? I mean, you know, or, or I think William De, uh, William Defoe was in there as well. Uh, I forget the Sandman uh, guy. I forget his actor. Well, you know, they're bringing. I think they're going to bring back the other actors as well. So I mean, you're going to see like a, you know, like a, like a forty year old Tobey Maguire. That would actually be a cool. They should just like go back and just do like a, I don't know, Spider Man Four or something like that, and just have like a like a forty year old Tobey Maguire. You know, ah, I'm getting too old for this crap. You know that sort of deal. By the way, by as, an, as, as a second aside, as we're talking about the foundation here, uh, they're going to be doing a, uh, a Lethal Weapon 5, and uh, uh, crazy old Mel Gibson is going to be directing, so go go figure on that. I guess I guess if you wait long enough, um, uh, you know, your, your sort of anti-Semitism uh, comes back in vogue in, in, in Hollywood, so there you go. Anyways, I, I, we've gotten distracted here. The foundation, uh, a... Two out of ten, maybe. But if you just show the Lee Pace stuff, it's it's like a ten out of ten. Man, oh man, I tell you what, he just he just chews the scenery like like beer on a bone. 
I mean, just, ah, oh, it's just great. I mean, you, you hand an actor just kind of a great role like that, and, uh, ah, yeah, it's just great. Anyways, uh, check out, check out the Foundation. Just, just fast, watch the first episode, just fast forward through all the other stuff until you see Lee Pace there, and, uh, you should enjoy it. The rest of the stuff, eh, it's garbage. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. All right, let's see, um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, uh Beer's got to find it here. You guys are going too fast here. Uh, Ghostbuster Rules, there you go. Uh, except for the one with the chicks, yeah. Uh, that uh, actually looks like a decent, um, a, a decent movie. I'm a little, little hesitant, you know, uh, a little bit, again, you know, a little bit, kind of, uh, we keep going back to Spider-Man, a little bit like the member berries, you know, it's a little bit kind of, uh, I, I kind of wish that they would have just done some of the kid stuff. I thought that the really great idea that they had was to take it out of New York City and put it in a small town. I thought that was an excellent idea. Um, the kid stuff, eh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. It kind of reminds me of like a, a Stranger Things, I suppose. Or maybe a Goonies. I, probably more on the Goonies side. That looked pretty cool, but um, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, a, a little bit little bit anxious. Want to see a little bit more of the reviews come out before Bear kind of gives it his, his claw up or claw down on that. But um, hopefully, at least it's as good as, as Ghostbusters 2. Um, you know, you're never going to reach the, the heights of the original Ghostbusters, but if it's Ghostbusters 2 level, hey, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Where, where am I? I keep losing my place here. Let's see. Um, let's see. My wife uh, keeps, keeps telling me that girls are the key to everything. <sighs> I, I tell you, just watch the show and it's like, here's the strangest thing. Okay. So like, and, and uh, uh, Taco Cat can probably back me up on this. Um, you know, the first episode was very sort of, uh, uh, sort of STEM-ish, I guess. You know, the girls in the STEM, um, science, technology, uh, engineering, and mathematics. So uh, the basic show is you have the, the Space Roman Empire, and, um, uh, gosh, I don't, I didn't see him. I, there's, like, a couple main characters. One of the main characters is a, uh, a mathematician, scientist. He predicts that the, uh, that the Space Romans, it's going to fall and uh, everything like that, so you got to kind of uh, uh, brace yourself, uh, uh, put everything in, in a lockbox and everything, and lock it away for, you know, a couple thousand years, and maybe you can kind of come back after the collapse or something like that. Very scientific, very, uh, you know, we're going to go by the numbers. The girl, the, the water girl here, she... Uh, I call her the water girl because everything has to do with water with her. It's so silly. Anyways, they're supposed to be like, okay, we're going to predict that uh, it's going to go bad and everything. It's all science, science, science. And you get like three or four episodes in and then it's like, uh, ah, I'm the girl that, you know, is the key to everything. La, la, la. And it's just like the most boring most boring thing ever. It's just, uh, it, 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 it sucks out the, the, the tension. It's like, well, of course you're going to survive. You got plot armor. Who, who cares what happens to you? It's, you're going to come out fine. It's, it's going to be fine. It, it adds no tension, takes out the drama. <sighs> I, I, I tell you, I tell you. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's see. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm not going to go there, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to go there with that. Uh, let's see, uh, Neil uh, Stephenson invented uh, Metaverse before uh, Zuckerberg. Uh, steals everything, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, let's see, uh, uh, he says, uh, I am too old for this S. Uh, there you go. <laughs> let's see, uh, the foundation is a bear approved. You do need, I do need a seal. It is, it is approved. Again, we could do this sort of, uh, you know, uh, 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 fandom menace-esque you know, everything is terrible. Like, I could tear through that. Oops, the they just scrolled through it. But uh, the whole scene there where they're charging with people and everything with the space muskets, Bear could do an entire show just on that. Bear could do just an entire show just on just how terrible it is. But uh, you got to say, hey, there is like a diamond in the rough there. If they would just concentrate on the Lee Pay stuff, it would be great. This would be like one of the great shows out there. Everybody would be talking about it. Instead, it's, it's kind of hidden and all this other... Um, I wouldn't even call it woke. It's not, it's not really woke. It's more kind of like, um, sort of the, the, like, I don't know, uh, 1970s, 1980s, new age, um, you know, the, the crystals and love and all this other stuff, kind of the sort of, uh, Spielberg-esque, you know, uh, it's, it's just, it's just, uh, uh, I don't, I, Bear doesn't need that. So, anyways, just fast forward. 
fast forward through all that stuff. You, you won't be missing anything. Bear promise. Bear promise. Other than that, yeah, this scene right here. Why would you shoot the guy in the back? Why would you have space muskets? It doesn't make any sense. They had an episode where, like, the, uh, the, the other guys, the, the, the other bad guys, uh, they all met together, so they came down in a spaceship, and, like, they opened the door, and they all come running out. Well, they all come, like, running out, and they, they form a line. Like, so they're lining up like it's, like, you know, the British versus the French back in the Revolutionary War or something like that. They're, you know, all right, ready, aim, fire, that sort of... It was so stupid. Oh my god, it was so stupid. Anyways. <laughs> I, I think Bear has made his point here <laughs> on the foundation. So there you go. Actually, they, they have the, um, the, the final episode here. The final, uh, for the season coming up here, I think on Friday... I think they release their shows on Friday. We are always considered kind of doing a live, a live watch through, but the, I don't know how many people uh, have the Apple TV or, or even want to watch it or anything like that. It, it kind of, we are always kind of considered that. So um, if you want, we can do it, but it would be mostly they're just kind of groaning. And why are you aiming at the musket at the guy's back that's part of your team? It's so stupid. Anyways, we could do it, but. It might be a waste. Might be a waste. All right, let me grab something. Here. Let's see. Um, uh, Ghostbusters Two was great. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, it wasn't as great as the first one, but uh, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Let's see. Uh, Mike says, "Okay, well, uh, now you got to do this for the movie reviews. This movie gets two claws up." Um, actually. <sighs> What would be? This would be kind of the fourth or fifth uh, uh, side side uh, um, uh, venture that we're going on here. Uh, Bear actually saw two really good movies. Um, the first one, don't want to get political or anything like that. This has nothing to do with politics or anything like that. Uh, just a really interesting movie. So uh, if you're a, a big fan of uh, Thanos in the uh, in the Marvel movies, uh, Josh Brolin, uh, he did a movie a number of years back called W, uh, as in George W. Bush, the, the president there, um, did a really amazing job with it. He kind of uh, just kind of lost himself in the role. Um you know, another, another guy that kind of chews the scenes and everything. Really good. Uh, Richard Dreyfus was freaking uh, uh, Dick Cheney and stuff like that. They had a number of interesting stuff. Uh, it was uh, directed by uh, um, Oliver Stone, who did just a very even-handed job with it. It was a very neat uh, character study of, uh, of George W. Bush. Um, you know, it wasn't wasn't the greatest movie in the world, but it was it was pretty good. It was pretty darn good. So uh, if you just want something to watch, you know, on the on the weekend or something like that, check that out. The other one was called um, the Heist, or excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, Heist, um, with uh, Gene Hackman, uh, the Hackman, uh, a couple years back, probably maybe fifteen years ago or so. Uh, David Mamet, uh, if you don't know, uh, kind of famous playwright. A little bit more on the on the right side of stuff there, um, kind of on the outs in Hollywood, but uh, really great screenwriter. Um, if you like heist sort of movies, bank robbery movies, that sort of deal, some twists and turns and stuff like that, uh, check out the heist. It should be, or excuse me, heist. Uh, it should be on um, Amazon, Amazon Prime for free. So if you want to check that out, so both of those were uh, two two claws up there. I, you guys are you guys are distracting me. I tell you what. Anyway, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> there you go. Harry Selden. Yeah, I couldn't remember the, the, the professor's name. Yeah, there you go. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I'm all about the Encyclopedia Galactica, though. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, what is that Foundation clone? Uh, well, we were just talking about that. Um, uh, read the Real Deal Foundation and Empire. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Um Oh, uh, let's see. P-Money says, okay, got to go. Happy 100. Thank you so much, P-Money. It's great to have you here. Great to have you here. I think we're going to go ahead, uh, maybe wrap it up here just a little bit. Um, want to show just one quick thing here real quick since we just, just got this in, um, just recently here. Um, going to be doing some, some breaking news here for everybody. So if you guys are hung around to the end here, we, uh, actually have some breaking Breaking news stuff here. Let's get out of the foundation stuff. We need to get out of that for crying out loud. Um, so Bear has taken some of the uh, artwork that uh, Bear has collected over the years and um, uh, got it scanned in uh, professionally. Excuse me. Professionally. Ah, excuse me. 
Yes, that's right. Breaking news. Breaking news. So anyways, Bear got some of the artwork that he did. Um, did uh, a professional scan. So uh, we scanned it in. So, for example, here is... Um, I'm sorry, P-Money just left. He, he would have enjoyed this. Uh, just got in some stuff from um, uh, Gary Shipman. This is uh, Titan, uh, book number one. Let's see, it was page... I forget if it was page 11 or if it was a page... It, it might have been a different page. I remember he... Uh, you can barely see it in there, but he did white it out. I think it was a different page, and then it moved around. So I'm not exactly sure if it was page 11. We would have to double-check. But um, anyways, got some of this stuff scanned in. Um, not going to do everything here, but uh, Beer is starting uh, a uh, eBay store that he's going to be setting up here. So he's going to be selling some of the artwork that he has. Um, hopefully raise some funds here for Bear. Bear needs a little bit of little bit of funds here. Definitely not going to sell uh, the, the battle maiden here from Kyung Lee, but I uh, just wanted to kind of show that out. Look pretty cool, but, uh, you know, maybe maybe you're a Star Wars fan, so maybe you would maybe like something like, um, like the old uh, Mandalorian here. Let's, um, uh, what was her name? Uh, Gina Carano. I'm trying to remember her. Uh, Cara Dune. Cara Dune, um, uh, taking a stormtrooper out. Well, uh, little little baby Yoda looks on from uh, from. <laughs> I'm sure he's getting an eyeful there. I'm sure he's getting an eyeful there. So uh, th there's a little piece that uh, Bear got from uh, Mike Miller there. Let's see. There was another one that he got. Let's see. It was um. Oh, there we go. The 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 Chun Li and I'm trying to remember who the other who the other character was there. So uh, anyway, some nice little artwork there. Yes, thank you, thank you, Bear. Thank you. Yeah, some cool stuff. Um. I'm going to be putting some of this stuff up. It, it probably will be next week. I uh, need to kind of figure out how Bear is going to do... Uh, you know, how, how is how is PayPal going to pay Bear and Salmon? That's going to be the, the hard one there. But uh, yeah, anyway, some interesting stuff. Um, uh, we were just talking about uh, Graveyard Shift and everything. So this is the, the Monster Hunt uh, team-up of uh, Lone Star and, uh, and Graveyard Shift there. Um, also got actually some stuff from, uh, Miss, Miss Eden Miller here, so, uh, very cool, very cool here. Oh, actually, we were just talking about, um, USA Assassin, so this is actually, actually can show both, let me get out of, get out of the way here, um, this is from Mike McMahon, so I think this was the, this wasn't the front cover, this might have been either an alternate cover or maybe the back cover of, uh, USA Assassin number one. There you go, some neat, um, neat little look of, uh, USA Assassin. I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, there was another name for him, but, uh, the USA Assassin here, so I got that. I think I've shown in the past, um, uh, the Kevin Sharp one here from Blade. So that's a pretty cool Blade that, uh, got from Kevin Sharp from a while back. Yeah, thank you very much, Bear. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, got some cool stuff here. Uh, we were actually talking about, uh, Brand the last time from, uh, Kane and White. So there's some... You're not going to see very much Kane and White stuff there. And of course, of course, Bear's favorite, one of Bear's favorite artists, we we're also talking about uh, Star Wars, uh, Matthew Weldon. Matthew Weldon's got some great stuff there. That's actually um, the second one there. Uh, let's see, the one on the, let's see, I guess this would be on the right, I think if you're looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, on the right there, that's uh, Leah from uh, Star Wars there, and it's um, uh, Hopscotch, the Hopscotch character from uh, Shadow Sentry. Uh, we're talking about uh, Eric Ninotowski there, so there's uh, there's Hopscotch. Actually, that is the, if you got the uh, metal cards, uh, that's actually part of the uh, part of the collection there was uh, Hopscotch. Uh, forget who he got the, uh, the colors done from, but it uh, really came out great. It really came out great. Um, one of Bear's favorites... It's not selling this one. This is actually a print. Uh, Bear's actually got this one hung up in his... In the cave here is the Calvin and Hobbes one. So, uh, some pretty cool stuff there. Some pretty cool stuff. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that um, uh, when Bear starts to um, uh, put that up on eBay. Uh, might do something where some of the, uh, some of the uh, subscribers or, or viewers of the show here... Uh, maybe maybe try and get you guys in uh, a little bit earlier, something like that, or uh, maybe a special a special deal or something like that. Um, uh, definitely need it. You know, Bear's trying to raise a little bit of funds here to uh, 
uh, you know, to get some stuff done around the cave and everything. So, uh, anyways, just wanted to show that off with you guys there. Some cool stuff. Um, not, not a, not a sort of, uh, hey, look at me and all the great artwork, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just, you know, hey, this is what we got. And, um, you know, sometimes people weren't able to check it out the first time. Well, uh, there we go. We might be able to, uh, get it in your hands. Get it in your hands if you're interested in any of that. So there you go. Some pretty cool stuff. All right, let's see. Um, oh, it is about nine o'clock. So there we go. We usually try and do this about an hour or so. Um, in the past, we've been doing this uh, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, kind of uh, started to get away from the Saturday stuff. It, it just kind of became a little bit of a little bit too much for Bear there. I don't mind doing it. Don't mind, uh, I always enjoy the crowd. So um, uh, may may try and do something on a Saturday or something like that. But. Uh, might, might want to just think about kind of scaling it back maybe once a week or something like that. But uh, anyways, we try to do it about an hour or so. Everybody gets to get in and kind of uh, comment and chat and all that sort of good stuff. So um, once again, everybody, we got to thank you so, so much. You know, uh, going way back, I mean, like some of the first... Some of the first subscribers, people like uh, Miguel and Pete Money. Oh, man, I mean, I tell you what, uh, we wouldn't have been able to uh, get this far without you. And, uh, you know, some of the newer people, uh, Baron, I think, I th if I recall correctly, I, I think you were one of the newer uh, subscribers there. Probably pushed Bear over 100, so um, definitely got to say thank you to some of the newer folks. Check us out. Um, uh, hopefully you guys like what, uh, what you see and hear here. Uh, you know, once again, we kind of do a... Um, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a, a variety show as far as the live shows, and we'll do all sorts of different stuff, box openings, uh, campaign reviews, or maybe just the actual review of some of the books. We just did one for, um, for uh, what was it, uh, Impossible Stars. Uh, talk about uh, uh, changing over time. Uh, Bear is starting to do uh, what's called HDR video, so if you check out the Impossible Stars, you're, you're going to see it in beautiful lovely hdr nice nice great colors and everything looks great uh, so you know again we're, we're moving along trying to get better each time you know um we always say, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to do a professional show. Uh, it's not going to be today that we do the professional show, but uh, we definitely try and do it. So uh, uh, thank you once again to some of the long-time, long-time subscribers and viewers out there and um, some of the newer folks as well. We do appreciate you very, very much. Uh, do hope you guys uh, maybe go back and check out some of the older videos. You might find some uh, some fun ones there. If you do, hey, uh, give, give Bear a like. Or a dislike if, if whatever YouTube's crazy algorithm is going on nowadays, um, uh, definitely check it out. Maybe a comment as well. Definitely appreciates all the comments out there. So, uh, once again, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ethan sent, Ethan, Uncle E. Uncle E. Ah, great stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Uncle Lee. Do appreciate it. Do appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, for all the great comments there, Baron. Do appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, once again, Bear's going to head back. Oh, man, oh, man, got to gotta dig through some trash cans here. Got to find something to eat here. So, uh, Bear's going to go ahead, do that, head back into the woods. So, until next time, everybody. Grrr.